Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. What I hear about them the most is that they're making it harder for us to laugh. One of the things that people will tell you when they visit places like North Korea, or people will tell you when they lived through um, authoritarian regimes, is that the first thing to go when a dictator takes power is, is humor and satire, because it's a risk. It's a risk to um, the autocrat and power. One thing is my friend is a, uh, I have a magazine editor friend who is sort of a, a Milo fan on the DL, you know, because you can't you can't say it in public if you work in the media. But you know. um, and he says the thing that dictators and authoritarians hate the most, and this is why I know you're right, is the sound of laughter. It's people having fun, and this is why Seinfeld and Chris Rock won't play colleges anymore. America's most successful comedian in history, and a hilarious black guy who you would think get a pass for everything. <laughs> Their rules, not mine. I mean, you know. Won't play colleges anymore. They're telling me what I can find funny. Well, that isn't funny. I find AIDS quite funny. <laughs> I find Islam quite funny. I find all sorts of things that I'm not supposed to, what's that? Aloha Snipeboy, yeah. I find trannies quite funny. I mean, all these things are inherently very entertaining, but we're told that we can't laugh about them because we're offending someone. Oh. Madam, I'm grateful to you for coming, but to be quite honest with you, fuck your feelings. <laughs> Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. I'm sorry, darling, this isn't the silver-haired snowflake show. This is the Milo show, and it's time for you to go. Thank you. You can be triggered at any age, any age. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't hear you, I'm sorry. We're gonna carry on with the show, but thank you very much for coming. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some victims of this kind of, uh, this kind of politics. The politics of feelings. All right, let's let's carry on. She's had enough attention, I think. That's sad, that's sad. 
Thank you, sir. You can come and see me afterwards. All right. We love our police. Any more desperately triggered snowflakes in need of their five minutes of fame? Speak now. Blue lives do matter. Thank you, sir. Anybody else who's desperate for their five minutes of internet fame, now's your chance. I felt she was very low energy. You know, if you want to, you know, look. There's a large body of work out there now. We've got the red paint from Rutgers. We've got the tranny from, from uh, where was it? I can't even remember. Washington, D.C. somewhere. American University. Milo wants me dead. Do I? Um, we should, we've, got, we've got Trigglypuff. You, if, you want, if you want to make a scene and enter the history books of... We'll secure the border. Uh, veterans for Trump. So it's interesting how uh, I guess they're getting a, they're trying to co-op the march that's going on. You can see these are the Trump people going in to the uh, event that's about to take place. And, uh, and then these guys started marching about 20 minutes ago. So a lot of these kids are uh, young, uh, high school, Talk to some high school kids, talk to some college kids, and then there's some older adults, some like, uh, so Trump's a racist seems to be the main, the main thing they keep preaching. It's interesting, these guys are carrying a uh, come and take it flag, and they're the anybody but Trump party. And I asked them about the Second Amendment, and they're like, this flag can mean a lot of things. Well, it actually literally means um, they put that up to the Mexican soldiers and said, come take their cannon. <laughs> so, so it just shows how little history these guys know. And now the Black Lives Matter, Matter chants have started. They were doing All Lives Matter, and then they switched to Black Lives Matter at one point. So there's still people back behind the barrier. The protesters have definitely grown. I'd say they probably doubled in size from earlier, and Trump has not shown up yet. To my knowledge, I bet I, I think he'll come through the back way. I don't think he's going to come in this front way. So uh, anyway, everybody's getting access to the porta potties, though. So you still see the protesters by the sign. They hate the billionaires. Don't know about Soros. <clears throat> Here they come. Just a smattering of what's been going on most of the day. But the march has grown. More people are joining it. And it looks like some people are coming down. More people are joining this as we speak. It's getting bigger and bigger. But there you get a... So that's just a quick clip of what's coming up tonight. And here we go. Excellent pilot with the way you handle that airplane. Anyway, diverse crowd. Are you joining the protest? Yeah, yeah I'm with the Veterans for Trump cool. protest. All right. And anything to get rid of Paul Ryan, our most hated congressman here in Wisconsin. Yeah, hopefully they, they say there's a plan to do that. Oh, yeah, well, we don't know how to do that since the voting system is so corrupt. Right. We think the electronic machines get their wires crossed, and they're worried about our... Uh, I'm sure that's all by accident, too. Yeah, that's by accident. If the vote's running in the wrong direction, they just twist them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they keep us controlled. 
Yeah, that's how that and dropping bombs on us so they can protect us. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, thanks for talking to me. <laughs> have a good one. All right, so yeah, some veterans for Trump have joined the. Hey, I have uh, a story for you, Infowars. I need to talk Oh, yeah, what do you got? I should be inside the Trump rally right now, and I'm not. You just talked to me earlier. Yeah, they kicked you out. And what does my, my sign say? Right. Love Trump's hate. They kicked me out. I went up there peacefully. I have a ticket to this event. They kicked me out on the grounds that it's a private event and it's private property, and I got kicked off. They are racially profiling people at the door. I watched a group of people get kicked out behind me who were wearing nothing. They had no signs, nothing. They were racially selected and profiled and removed off the property. Well, I, I, I saw a couple of black people go into the event, if that's what you're referring to, but they did kick out a girl with face paint on that said no hate. They kicked out a young couple is what I'm referring to. I think that they are age discriminating, to be honest with you, but the thing is, is how, freedom is not free when you can't walk into an election. Like, you can't walk into it. Sorry, it's so busy out here. Freedom's not free when you can't walk in and listen to a presidential candidate speak, even in peace. I came here with no Bernie stuff. I was not bringing this sign in. I was very aware of the fact that I was just going to go and peacefully listen to him talk. They removed me from the property and laughed in my face and are handpicking whoever gets to go inside. How free is our country when you can't even listen to a candidate speak? I just need to know that. Well, I think what's going on is there have been so many events disrupted that they're preemptively selecting people who they think are going to cause trouble. That's and I'm not true. saying you're going to cause trouble. That's true, but like... And because people blame Trump for when violence happens at his events. They say it's Trump's fault. But Trump didn't tell people to show up and start stuff at his events. Right, but those people that showed up that quote-unquote started stuff were not doing anything either. They were standing there in peace, and then the Trump's people agitated them, right? That's what happened. So, I mean, I just need to stress, like, this cannot be considered an event that's actually being run on a level of fairness or equality, which is the whole reason I was here today, was to, was to, was to see that, was to challenge that, was to at, question that. And the fact that I couldn't even get into the rally and I'm not even doing anything wrong speaks volumes, just speaks volumes. I think that, I think that people need to know that the rights are being stripped away. I'm about to upload this video, so they're going to know. Thank you very much. Right, have a good one. Thanks, InfoWars. So there you go, kicked out of a private event for, uh, I guess, not following the rules that they set up, which I think is uh, their right. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off and upload it. But that's just a small smattering of what's been going on today, but the protests have... Hey guys, it's Jacob Honeycutt. We're live on Facebook with a Trump supporter, or sorry, Trump supporter and a Trump <laughs> hater. I'm not saying that I hate him. I am saying that he incites me. How? I'm saying that he hates Mexicans. You didn't say he hates Mexicans. Did he ever say that? He was going to build a wall to keep them out. Oh, that's right. Because we don't belong in our. We don't have a right to defend our borders. You lock your doors at night. Well, why do you do that? You should open your doors at night. I would come in and sleep on your. I don't care. I would like to come into your house and sleep on your couch. Sir, what I'm trying to get out of your fridge. Can you please leave your door open at night? You will? Absolutely. Can you give me your address so Just I can get some food? Yeah, I might be hungry. For I, I, I am. I, I, am unemployed. I am an unemployed I veteran. Hear. I would love some free food. Absolutely. I would love a place to sleep tonight. What would you want? I'll just give you your address. address. Right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give you my address. Why not? Because I but don't she can lock address. your doors. I don't know you. Well, then you don't know Mexicans that are coming across the border with drugs and stuff like that. So what we can trust them. I'm not denying that. So you have no valid point whatsoever. What else is he preached about hate? When has he ever said I hate you? No? Nothing? Silence is good. I'm not going to argue with someone. It's not arguing. I'm not going to change debate. your opinion. So you have your ideas and I have I my ideas. I am not going to change your in opinion, In a free society, sir. I can spot off my ideas and you can come back I am yours. not so going to change yourself. your opinion, sir. Exactly. So I'm trying to figure out where he is for a tape. What does he say the tape? I am not trying to change I'm your opinion, sir. You're right. never going to. I'm just trying to figure out why you don't think it's I am not right. trying to change your opinion. Is that your go-to? That's just it. I am not trying to change your opinion. That's you are fine. entitled to I'm believe in what you would like to. You can be hateful all you want. I'm just trying to you figure out. You are entitled to uh, believe in what you want. I. That's not. So I'm just trying to figure out. I didn't out even say who I was voting for. Not once. I have been standing out here for two hours, and not once. Have I said who I was voting for? I didn't. I know that. I can tell that. I'm just asking what, what Trump has said that's hateful. There are a lot of things that he said that's hateful. Give two Trump examples. Vote for hate. I'm just wondering why you're trying to change our votes. 
because he's a racist. So How is he a racist? racist? What has he ever said anything the like The KKK that? endorses. What if I told you there's a picture Hey, take, a, take a look at this, guys. We got a bus driving by that says Trump hates. Are you with him? KKK was formed by the Democratic Party to stop Republicans. I don't disagree with you. Oh, yes. I never said Trump that. Trump endorses the KKK. Democratic Party. So, so, what does he say? I'm, I'm saying that Donald Trump stands for hate. Okay, that's what you say, but can you prove it with facts? No? Look at the news headlines. The sky is perfect. <laughs> Look at the news headlines. Look at, oh, right. I should believe Look the Look at every media. single thing. The left, the left. Okay, I agree with you on that one. I'll at least agree with you on that one. Wow. Have you ever seen, uh, you know who Tyler Durden is? Well, this conversation is over. Have a good night, okay? Hey, you know, have a good night. Day. Be safe. Can you tell live on Facebook why you don't support Donald Trump? Because he's a racist. Can you give two examples of why Donald Trump is a racist? What the? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> All right, those of you who are watching, we are live downtown at the Trump rally. Trump. <laughs> there are thousands of people in line to see Donald. We've seen quite a few protesters. As we get closer to the Midland Theater, we're going to see a lot more as we hear there are many in front of the theater. So we're going to go uh, see that as soon as the line starts to move. I'm Jacob Honeycutt. We'll be back soon. Stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. All right. We love our police. <laughs> Any more desperately triggered snowflakes in need of their five minutes of fame? Speak now. Blue lives do matter. Thank you, sir. Anybody else is desperate for their five minutes of internet fame, now's your chance. I felt she was very low energy. You know, if you want to, you know, look, there's a large body of work out there now. We've got the red paint from Rutgers. We've got the tranny from, from uh, where was it? I can't even remember. Washington, D.C. somewhere. American University. Milo wants me dead. Do I? Um, we should, we've, got, we've got Trigglypuff. You, if, you want, if you want to make a scene and enter the history books of... We'll secure the border. Uh, veterans for Trump. So it's interesting how uh, I guess they're getting a, they're trying to co-op the march that's going on. You can see these are the Trump people going in to the uh, event. That's <laughs> I'm afraid I can't hear you, I'm sorry. We're gonna carry on with the show, but thank you very much for coming. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some victims of this kind of, uh, this kind of politics. The politics of feelings. Let's, let's carry on. She's had enough attention, I think.
That's sad. That's sad. Thank you, sir. You can come and see me afterwards. Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. What I hear about them the most is that they're making it harder for us to laugh. One of the things that people will tell you when they visit places like North Korea, or people will tell you when they lived through um, authoritarian regimes, is that the first thing to go when a dictator takes power is, is humor and satire, because it's a risk. It's a risk to um, the autocrat and power. The one thing is my friend is a, uh, I have a magazine editor friend who is sort of a, a Milo fan on the DL, you know, because you can't, you can't say it in public if you work in the media. But, you know. um, and he says, the thing that dictators and authoritarians hate the most, and this is why I know you're right, is the sound of laughter. It's people having fun. And this is why Seinfeld and Chris Rock won't play colleges anymore. America's most successful comedian in history, and a hilarious black guy who you would think get a pass for everything. <laughs> Their rules, not mine. I mean, won't play colleges anymore. They're telling me what I can find funny. Well, that isn't funny. I find AIDS quite funny. <laughs> I find Islam quite funny. I find all sorts of things that I'm not supposed to, what's that? Aloha Snipeball, yeah. I find trannies quite funny. I mean, all these things are inherently very entertaining, but we're told that we can't laugh about them because we're offending someone. Oh. Madam, I'm grateful to you for coming, but to be quite honest with you, fuck your feelings. <laughs> Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. I'm sorry, darling, this isn't the silver-haired snowflake show. This is the Milo show, and it's time for you to go. Thank you. You can be triggered at any age, any age. It's about to take place, and, uh, and then these guys started marching about 20 minutes ago. So, a lot of these kids are uh, young, uh, high school, talk to some high school kids, talk to some college kids, and then there's some older adults, some like, uh, so Trump's a racist seems to be the main the main thing they keep preaching. It's interesting these guys are carrying a uh, come and take it flag and they're the anybody but Trump party. And I asked them about the second amendment and they're like this flag can mean a lot of things. Well it actually literally means um, they put that up to the Mexican soldiers and said come take their cannon. <laughs> so, so it just shows how little history these guys know. And now the Black Lives Matter, Matter chants have started. They were doing All Lives Matter, and then they switched to Black Lives Matter at one point. So there's still people back behind the barrier. The protesters have definitely grown. I'd say they probably doubled in size from earlier, and Trump has not shown up yet, to my knowledge. I bet I, I think he'll come through the back way. I don't think he's going to come in this front way. So uh, anyway.
Everybody's getting access to the porta potties, though. So you still see the protesters by the sign. They hate the billionaires, don't know about Soros. <clears throat> Here they come. 